increase in hurricanes. 2005, for the first year, we ran out of letters of the alphabet for hurricanes. If I pick hurricanes that hit the United States, you can look them up online. What you find is hurricanes in white are actually decreasing a little bit. Severe hurricanes in blue, categories, uh, I guess, three and four, uh, are actually going down a little bit. Category five, going down a little bit. So why does everybody say the hurricanes are increasing? Actually, they don't. If you go to the Hurricane Center, they say the rate of hurricanes has been going down. So why do prominent politicians say the number of hurricanes is going up? Well, the reason is we ran out of letters in 2005. Why did we do that? Let's look at 2005. Here are all the zillions of hurricanes out at sea in 2005. Compare that to 1933 when there were none out there. None. Why were there none out there? Well, we detect hurricanes by satellites, and there were no satellites in 1933. We detect them by remote sense, sensing buoys, and there were no buoys out there. And finally, we detect them by ships. And ships avoided this area because of the hurricanes. So there were no reported hurricanes in that area. But if you take an unbiased subsample, then you find the hurricanes are not increasing. Does that violate global warming? No. Because global warming doesn't predict the number of hurricanes will go up. If you look at it, they say global, that storms might go up. They also might go down. Why would they go down? Because in global warming, more heating occurs at the poles than at the equator that decreases the temperature gradient. It's these temperature differences that drive the storms. That's why at the end of the summer, when the equator is so hot and the poles are still cold, you get the maximum differences, you drive the hurricanes that are part of this instability you get from the temperature differential. So no, the hurricanes are not going up.